Are you sure this is the right way, Sam? I think we're lost. Sam? Where are you? Sam? What's that sound? I'm honored to have you as my son-in-law, Roland. You'll be a great husband to Ruby. Oh, before I forget, here's a letter from her. A letter from Ruby? Always a romantic. I still can't believe this wedding is happening. How did I get so lucky? I remember the first time I saw Ruby. She was sitting on a swing in the garden. A light breeze in her hair and a gentle smile on her lips. My heart fluttered when she looked at me, and in an instant, I was head over heels in love. Proposing took all of the courage I could muster, but it was worth it to hear her say yes. As a symbol of her love, Ruby gave me a part of her mother's amulet. I will always cherish it because I know what it means to her. We finally arrived! I can't wait to see her! Hurry up, Roland. Ruby must be anxious to see you. Roland! I'm so glad you're finally here. I'm sorry, darling, but many of our guests haven't arrived. There's talk of a giant wolf in the area, but I'm sure it's just a rumor. I don't want it to get in the way of our wedding. Don't worry, dear. Nothing will get in the way on such an important day. If you're sure it's just a rumor, then the wedding will go on as planned. Thank you, Dad. I'm sure it will be fine. Darling, please hold on to this for now. I need to put the finishing touch on a few things for the ceremony. I'll take my father inside and come back. What was that? I hope Ruby and Paul are okay.
I'm glad everyone is okay. I should tell Paul and Ruby about the strange red ivy on the doors. No! Ruby! Run! Stop! I won't let you take her! You're not going anywhere, you vile creature. No! Ruby! Paul! What? Is that... Paul? Did the wolf do this? This is terrible. The wolf kidnapped Ruby and somehow turned Paul into a boar. I must save them. Thank you for restoring me. I am Thalia, the spirit of the amulet. I once served Ruby's mother, Marion, until she passed me on. I sense that Ruby is in danger, but fear not. I will help you. I can help break the curse of dark magic. Bring me something meaningful to the victim, and I can imbue it with power. From Marion. It looks like a gift from Ruby's mother. It could be important to Paul.
I loved Marion. She was a kind and gracious host. I wish I could have done more for her, but now I can focus on helping Ruby. But first, you should learn the truth about their family. Not long after Paul returned from the war, he met Marion and instantly fell in love. Marion's family approved of Paul and supported Marion when she didn't hesitate to tell him yes. But Paul felt his love for Marion wasn't fully returned, as she seemed cold and sad. However, the arrival of little Ruby warmed her heart, making room for Paul as well. Marion's sudden death devastated Paul, and caring for little Ruby became his sole focus, shaping his entire life around his daughter. I've used up all my magic on the enchantment. I must rest before I continue the story. Come back when you need me again, and perhaps I will have recovered. You saved me. Thank you. I don't know where the wolf took Ruby, but we should head to her grandmother's house. Marion had a brother, but he disappeared. Their mother said something about it having to do with a wolf. They never spoke about it after that. But maybe she'll open up about her past if it means finding Ruby. We're no match for that wolf. I'll go get help, and then we can meet at Ruby's grandma's. But first, we need to raise the pillar. There should be a long piece of cloth around here somewhere. Can you find it? We should be able to move this column, Paul. I'll find help. We'll meet again at Ruby's grandma's. What? The wolf! Oh no! The bridge is broken. I need to find a way across.
It looks like the wolf was here. I hope Ruby's grandmother wasn't hurt. Looks like Ruby's grandmother was turned into an owl. I should investigate around here to figure out how to help her. Allow me to continue the story of Ruby's family while I help you lift the curse. Marion's brother, Gaspar, had a friend named Blaze. There were strange rumors about Blaze, and Gaspar's mother warned him to stay away. But the war brought them together, and Gaspar trusted Blaze as a brother. One day, Gaspar was surrounded in battle, and Blaze transformed into a wolf to protect his friend. After the battle ended, Gaspar disappeared, and no one saw him again. Many believe Blaze, overwhelmed by animal instincts, accidentally killed Gaspar in the fight. Ruby's grandmother feared Blaze and what he did to her son, and rallied the townspeople to banish him permanently. I've used up all my magic on the enchantment. I must rest before I continue the story. Come back when you need me again, and perhaps I will have recovered.
can't believe that damned Blaze has returned. I've already lost my son because of him. I can't allow him to hurt my granddaughter. His cursed magic seems even stronger than before. There's something evil about those red patterns on him, but a magical cloak should help protect you. You'll need to sew special symbols on it. I'll look for them while you get the golden silk thread. It should be in the closet. Here are the magical symbols for the cloak. Use them well. Now you have everything you need to activate the cloak's magic and face the wolf. I'll wait here for Paul, but you should be ready to look for Blaze. I believe he's hiding somewhere in the forest. Are these Ruby's things? I need to examine them closer to make sure.
Ruby! Is she unconscious? I have to help her! I'm coming to save you, Ruby! Oh... It's just her cloak. What's this? A note? Perhaps it'll provide a clue to her whereabouts. Who's here? Blaze? Then who's this fox? Please, Roland, don't hurt him! What are you doing, Ruby? No! Why did Ruby protect those animals and run from me? I need to catch up with him quickly and find out what's happening. Thank you.